And then the common name of this plant is what? The common name is known as either the Titan Aurum because of the size of it, and the Titans were the giants of old Greek mythology, and we also known by the translation of the local Indonesian name of this plant as the corpse flower. And so if you could explain to people exactly what that means, why it's the name that, and... It's called the corpse flower because members of this genus uh, produce or exude a chemical when it opens up only for a 24-hour period that smells just like carrion. And carrion is a nice way of saying uh, dead animals. So as dead animals are decaying, they also release an enzyme that produces that scent, same scent. It, chemically, it, it's, it's very similar. I don't know if it won't be the exact chemical composition, but our noses can't tell the difference between the two chemicals that are being produced, either a dead animal or what this plant is producing. And how strong was that when the plant first opened This morning, up? Uh, you had to have a good constitution to uh, stay there more than five minutes, but for a few minutes. Uh, some people couldn't stand longer than a few seconds. Some of the close relatives of this giant flower is our own native Jack in the pulpit, is in the same family and so it'll have similar flowering structures. The actual beautiful purple um, uh, sheath that envelops the, uh, the tongue in the center is known as the spathe, and the tongue is known as the spadix. And the spadix is actually a collection of thousands of mini mi miniature flowers, and that's basically, it's a multiple flower. And so the largest flowers on record has made this species the world's largest inflorescence um, in the world.